room. You are now, Randy. Go. Good morning, everyone. My name is Randy. We're here in the Solari kitchen on a beautiful Saturday. If you're here in San Diego, it's about 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm here with, oh, this guy. Oh, the ghost. We have our invisible chef. Chef Filippo is so amazing. He could be invisible while he makes this amazing Tagliolini pasta with freshly foraged Italian truffles. And that's what we're going to be doing today. So I think the chef is ready now. Um, I just want to let everybody know, for those of you that did get a kit, you should get your kit out. You have all the instructions on what was done. We'll talk more about the kit in a little bit. Remember, you can get the kit anytime this weekend. So anytime today, anytime tomorrow, this is being recorded. We also have an instruction sheet that comes with the kit. So um, we'd love it if you're able to try our Tagliolini pasta with the truffles at home. You can also get, you have one of these, is this what they get as well? Yes. If you want to, you can be the owner of one of these. This is an official truffle slicer. Just imagine how much you'd impress all of your friends and family if you had one of these hanging in your kitchen. Everybody is gonna say, what's that? And in Italian here, you'll see the name of the company, and you adjust the setting here, which will show you what to do. But you can be the owner of this truffle cutter, very official from Italy. You can get one in addition to the kit if you'd like to buy one of these also. Anyways, it's a lot of fun what we're about to do. For those of you that have had truffles, you know what we're talking about. For those of you who haven't, sit back and enjoy why the amazing executive chef Filippo Piccini dazzles us with homemade pasta and freshly forward truffles. Thanks, everybody. Oh, our invisible chef disappeared again on us. He's going to be back in just one second, maybe two seconds. <laughs> Until then, come join us this weekend. This beautiful Tagliolini pasta is only available today and tomorrow and is only available for dine-in. And the reason it's only available for dine-in is it's a delicate pasta. This is not something that's going to survive a journey home. So we've really worked hard to be social distanced. Everything gets cleaned after every customer. All of our tables are at least six feet away. You can dine in our wine room all by yourself. You can dine in our private room if you have a group all by yourself. We'll take good care of you. Um, now we have our executive chef, Filippo Piccini. Hi. Thank you, Petra. Randy already introduced today's scheme, which is truffle, and this is summer truffle. That's what is available right now. That's straight from Tuscany. You wanna Very good. It out. Thank you. That's what it looks like. Just leave it there for one second, chef, so everybody can see it. So this is what they look like after they come right out of the ground and they've been cleaned off a little bit. Remember they grow what about uh, 18 inches deep, Chef? Maybe uh, two feet? Yes. Oh, Depends sorry. On, on the kind of truffle, I include on my sheet a little recap, because there are five different kinds of truffle, and we follow the season. So now we have summer truffle, uh, the Italian name is scorzone, because as means scorza, is the this little crust. And Hold it steady for a second. That has all around, so yep. as a thick crust, the thick crusted one, basically that's the translation, I think, Yeah. as much as I can translate it. Uh, so, what I want to show you today is how a simple ingredient, like eggs, we did the, the noodle, and we infused a little bit, you can see maybe there is some truffle in the dough, and... Yeah, we can see it, those little black spots, right? I infuse as well some butter. Because the truffle, it goes in uh, in the flavor. We leave one day, uh, one night in the fridge. The truffle with the butter, we make kind of a mousse. You can see how. Yeah. So those of you who have a kit, you should have your kit out. Uh, maybe Filippo, for those that don't have the kit, maybe talk your way through it. So we have the truffles here you just mentioned. Yes. We have, this is the uh, Tagliolini pasta, correct? We have some olive oil. Olive oil. We don't need that much for this recipe. Uh, I have one 
anchovy fillet here uh, that was undersold I cleaned took out the bone looks very lonely why just one just one because we're gonna do one portion and that's uh, okay. basically a trick it just seemed very things. lonely on the plate uh, one clove of garlic you crush the garlic as always and you leave the best on we're gonna take it out from the pan we just need a little a little smell we start with cold so the pan is cold yes, right you see the yep. olive oil just need to coat and we go in with the garlic and we turn off on the on the fire well, at this point you should have already boiling water with salt I gave you the salt in the kit so we put uh, this time we went with seven gram of liter of water so seven gram of rock salt per liter of water which is about a gallon so five gallon here with uh, 35 gram of uh, salt so season a little bit the oil with the garlic as we always do and then we throw the garlic away because we extract what we want which is the flavor and we have the oil with the vector so we use the garlic in this case because this kind of truffle uh, out of the five is the one that has a mushroom uh, flavor so garlic is the perfect base to pop up the truffle Beautiful. So everything we're gonna do today, even this little entry, which as I said, that's a chef drink, and that's gonna dissolve in in our sauce. If you don't really like that taste, you can avoid it, but believe me, you're not gonna really taste it. It's more uh, something we do in order to pop up the truffle flavor. So now we have this oil that basically is seasoned with garlic and you see the anchovy is gone. Yeah. It's basically used as a salt. That's yep. something in Tuscany we do really often. As always I have our grana padano and I want to grate it by hand. So I'll do it right now, you should do it at your house. Perfect, let me come on over there so people can see. Filippo has a very special technique for grating. So. Yes, I show you many times, so you just, have to go. I'm just zooming in now. You see, this way, very, very lightly. I like the zester the microplane that makes fluffy and it help me when I do the mantecatura when I saute the pasta in the pan you can see yeah is a cloud if you push too much you have an heavy cheese that any risk that it get lumpy when you saute the pasta So we're gonna do just one portion today. In your kit you have material to do four, so that anchovy is not gonna be that alone. Yeah, you'll have four in that kit, in the kit you normally go. So we don't I don't know Filippo, you and I need to talk. We should always do the we should do four portions because I know how good this could be. I know I can eat a full one. Yeah. I know I, you will eat a full I one. I figure that being an expensive item. Why well, no, but I think the team here, just so everybody knows, we open today for uh, take on delivery at noon. We open for dine-in at 4.30. I hope you're going to join us. It's a beautiful day. You have to try this pasta. If you are not one of the ones that got a kit, you must try this pasta. So get ready with your cheese. Great it. So we have Kara on the line. She said several times that she views this as like a cloud of cheese for Maggio. And then let's go back to our pasta, our tagliolino. So today's class is 
uh, very simple because I get all the ingredients ready for you and I want to focus on the quality of this ingredient. Tagliolino is a fresh pasta we do here, it's homemade and it's a little bit thicker, you can see is the, the style, uh, is the fettuccine is double, uh, double large but it's thinner and pappardelle as well. The tagliolino is meant to have this bite, almost al dente, which is impossible for fresh uh, pasta, but with this thickness, we're gonna reach that little bite. Actually, hold it steady for one well. second. I don't know about you guys, I just think that just looks beautiful. So. And when you, if you go on either Facebook or um, Instagram, you'll see just a one and a half minute video I did yesterday of Chef um, Denise making this uh, tagliolini pasta. So um, tagliolino would just be one of those, right? Yes. And tagliolini would be all of them. Exactly. So got it. Without any further ado. Oh no! no other. There it is. And what is your plan for how long you're going to keep it in there? Okay. Usually they tell you when they're ready, so they're gonna float. Got it. Since, as I say, this is a thick pasta and it's super fresh because we did like yesterday at six in the uh, afternoon, that's gonna float very fast. You see, it's already getting there. And I will keep it that 30 second, 45 second longer. So that's a very, very fast cooking style. And you might wonder why I have an egg yolk unboiled here. But that's a surprise, so you have to walk out a little bit. Claudia Napoli says ciao. Ciao, Claudia. E cugina. And we have Gail. Gail and Bruce. Hey, guys. I hope you're drinking wine. Again, Filippo, why are we not drinking wine? Yeah, that's... We always wait till afterwards. Why do we always remember this later? We discuss with Petra what will be the perfect pairing before. So it's... She's gonna be ready oh. with some timorasso. I know it's not from Tuscany, but for this recipe, I think timorasso is the perfect pairing. Oh, I love some expression of timorasso from Piedmont. She has a new one I never tried, so let's do it. Perfect. In just a second here, I see actually um, Petra is taking care of us with some wine. Thank you. This is tough work doing this. I ask you to get ready with a bowl and uh, uh, a pot because now we're going to do two seasoning. One is going to be our pasta. Very and good. In the pot. And we're going to. So that's where uh, you have the anchovy and the garlic. Yes. So. Gonna saute the pasta with the garlic and the anchovy flavor. Beautiful chef. This mousse, which is so delicate, we're gonna put it here our bowl. Yeah, this mousse is just amazing. And it does come in the kit that we've been talking about. Remember, you can get a kit anytime this weekend. So um, obviously it's fun to do it ahead of time so you can make it with chef, but this is being recorded. So come by this afternoon or tomorrow and grab a kit and make this at home. In here, so I don't want to waste any. Yep. Put some boiling water from the pasta pot. Why Filippo's doing that, I think uh, Petra's going to tell us a little bit about this wine. Oh. So let me just show everybody the label first. Timoroso. Yeah. So this is uh, Timoroso, which is the actual name of the variety. It's one of the native uh, uh, white varieties of Piemonte. Uh, for those who follow the, uh, the course we did, we talked about it, but we unfortunately didn't taste it. Uh, the famous person who brought Timoroso to, uh, back to life, uh, his name is Walter Massa, M-A-S-S-A. -S -S -A. Definitely recommend, recommend all of you, uh, if you find that one around, to try it. Um, but it's a beautiful, age-worthy, white variety. 
a little special. So um, it, it's like when you when you approach an abbiotto. It's a variety that you need to uh, to engage with and to, um, to to fully understand it. Not an easy wine, not an everyday wine, but probably a very beautiful pairing. Perfect. Thank you, Patra. That was awesome. We talked about it before. I think we should always have a um, a um, wine element to what we're doing here. What do you think, yeah. Chef? Or wise, it's perfect. As I said, I never tried. I will. And if you call the restaurant, either make an order for lunch, for delivery, or takeout, or if you want to make a reservation for tonight, I think we have Petra manning the phone. So, thank you, Petra. It's a pretty classic Timorasso. I love it. Nice, and right? it's going to pair perfectly. Well, Richie does a very good job. And if you're interested, we have some bottles of this wine too, guys. So if you're making this pasta and you want to try with this wine, let us know. And you can pick that up with your kit. So, uh, I stopped a little bit because we were talking, but here we are. Uh, Randy, if you can zoom on in. That's the consistency, so a little very watery compound. Because we're going to add it to our butter mousse. And that's why we have a bowl. And these bowls are great. I've uh, Three or four people I've gotten bowls for. I actually have bowls for another party right now waiting for them, so if you, come out. if you ever need anything, let us know. And now it's time for our grana. So that's the moment you have to choose how creamy you want your pasta. So I, can I ask you a question, uh, Chef? Yes. This reminds me a little bit about the process of making carbonara. Is that accurate or is it totally yes, different? Yes, that's actually an Alfredo, basically. Yeah. What is the original Alfredo in Italy is butter and parmesan cheese pasta, usually fresh pasta, like tagliolini, tagliatelle, yeah. pappardelle, with uh, parmesan cheese. And you, you adjust with a little bit of pasta. Yeah, the definitely water. keep the pasta water. Even if you drain the pasta, be sure that you have a cup close to the, yes. the sink so you can save some. This is gonna be useful in this, this moment. And Perfect. our pasta is already done. Now we have to play. So this is a pasta, if you'll see the email I sent this morning or other communications, this dish is not available for takeout just because it just it gets all gummy. It's not the same. Yeah, if you're a chef, you can maybe bring it back to life, but we so, really want you to enjoy it here. Now, we have to uh, pick uh, perfect up from before. Where it is? Okay, let's take another one. Kara says, yum, yum. So now, we uh, microplane again. Just shave, just yes. fresh. I come closer to oh, you. So I you can, can zoom in. Zoom in. Comes out. So yeah. So if you could um, do it really slow, so they can see. I have it nice and close up, very slow. So that is the freshly forward forged truffle. So it's a fungus. It's not a mushroom. As I said, grows 18, 24 inches under the ground next to a hazelnut tree or an oak tree. And your fancy mandolin. Now you adjust. Yep. So we shaved idea. a little bit. Yep. And then this is the mandolin. Yeah. And that's, I show you now, one nice slice. Nice and slow. And there we, we go. go now. Oh, yeah. Top. This is what we're talking about. So inside, we put the shaved one. And then we plate. Can you see how creamy yeah. it looks? And Beautiful. So everything we did is in order to enhance the flavor of the main ingredient, which is truffle. Yeah, whenever you're having, tr so truffles are expensive, let's be clear. For the, um, the white truffles from Alba, they can be as much as $3,000 a pound. Yes, $3,000 a pound. Um, and different types of truffles are different prices, but they're all very, very expensive. And so that's why when you get them, usually buy it measured in grams, because everything is all weighed out for you. That looks delicious. 
now I'm gonna give this twist a little the, bit of lemon zest uh, that's actually an oh an egg. egg oh sorry <laughs> I thought you were grabbing a lemon there so he has an egg yolk he's just sort of shaving on yes is grated uh, is basically when you open up your pasta it's gonna mix you mentioned carbonara before. Carbonara yeah. with truffle is a common item. Yeah. See, I would think the one chali would be just too overwhelming. Uh, everything with grease, like cheese or uh, butter, everything that is fatty is perfect with truffle. You see, it's almost too much, and I took a uh, 15 gram truffle. So, hey Jeremy, what I put on the on the kit, which is 40, 44 gram uh, is more than enough to season for wow. pasta. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. Now, truffle heaven, I agree, Kara Cooks. My friend Jeremy from San Francisco Bay Area just signed in. Hey, Jeremy. How this egg yolk melts together. And that's what happens when you grab a fork and start digging. So, you know, your lovely wife, Valaria, has been watching. Ciao, more. So, enjoy your truffle tagliolini with egg yolk. So, Chef, that was amazing. I guess um, just to summarize, and thanks to everybody who watched us make this fun dish over the last half an hour, is this is the uh, tagliolini pasta, um, house-made here at Solari. As you can see, it's a little bit of an Alfredo. He grated some eggs on top. Look at all those truffles, every bite. Let me say something a lot of about truffles. Alfredo. Alfredo oh. is a pasta, is a, is a thing. We don't call it Alfredo, we call it burro e parmigiano, and it's butter and parmesan cheese. There is some kind of a misconception. You call Alfredo here in the United States a cream pasta, but it is actually, that's an Alfredo with truffle. And Butter and parmesan is the perfect pairing to enhance and pop up the flavor of, of an amazing truffle. Show everybody the truffle again. Yep. And hold it steady. Those are super fresh. Yep. Uh, came in Beautiful. yesterday. Monday we're gonna have more. I Fabulous. I need to tell that we're gonna have a bigger one. So. I'll see you again next week. Absolutely. And everybody, if you would like to come to Solari today or tomorrow, make a reservation. We're open both days starting at 4.30. This dish that Filippo made, which he'll make for you, um, so if you come try this dish, it's Filippo making it, um, is only available here at the restaurant. The portion you just saw is $34. It's a great, great price for a lot of truffles, a house-made pasta. But if you want to make the kit at home, and um, a couple of people asked about getting one. Just call us, we can work with you. You can pick it up today, keep it in the refrigerator, have it tomorrow. Um, this is being recorded, we give you some instructions. So we'd be happy to have you take care of that. It makes uh, a lunch or a dinner for four, which you're really going to enjoy. If you'd like us to pair it with the same wine that Petra got for us, we can do that too. Otherwise, we hope to see you at Solari. Um, we're open on our heated patios in the grass our wine room, our private room, and probably about a week or two, the whole restaurant again. But be safe, everybody's reading the news. I just want to assure you, here at Solari, we have great social distancing, all tables are at least six feet apart, everything is cleaned, um, we are being so careful. So I believe you can trust us, but call us if you have any questions on dining in. Um, I will talk with you soon, Filippo, the magician in the kitchen, thank you again. Ciao. Ciao. Up.